In this video, I continue the topic of setting up a new project. I want to create a separate framework to store my model, since I will be using it later in the networking layer. To do this, I need to create a workspace first. What is a workspace and what is the difference between workspace and a project? Let's get started. What is a project? Project is a collection of files and settings. This is what you get when you create a new project in Xcode. What is a workspace? So if project is a collection of files and settings, workspace is simply a collection of projects. The projects included in workspace can depend on each other. And this is one of the most important benefit of having a workspace. When you add projects to a workspace, Xcode automatically detects dependencies between the targets in those projects and builds them in the correct order. So you don't have to worry about that. So let's open Xcode new project. And as you can see, we can choose from a template. And here we have the applications. You can choose different one like typical app, document app, maybe a game. And below that we have framework and library. You can choose the framework, static library, or maybe the metal library. From the last video, uh, we have like a simple project. As you can see, this is uh, just a project. We have different targets. So this is like a, an app target. Here we have the UI test target. Inside the targets, you can choose the app target. You can check the build settings, build phases. You can add different phases to the build. So the project is a base entity that defines the app, framework, or a library. So if you have ever created an app in Xcode, you for sure have used a project. Let's check the project inside the uh, finder. So here is the Xcode project. You can tap it and show package contents. So this is like another directory. You can see that you have like another. So here is the place where Xcode will store all the information about your project. Okay, so let's create a new workspace inside Xcode. Choose File, New, and Workspace. You need to choose a name. We can use the same name as the Xcode project because it will have a different extension, so no worries here. Choose Save. And we have the empty workspace. Now we need to add files to our workspace. You can click this plus button on the bottom left corner and add files to the project. You can also click here with the mouse, like right click and add files to the project. Or you can even go to Finder and just like drag and drop uh, your Xcode project files here. There is a weird issue if I will <laughs> add the files uh, Right now, when our project is open, it will uh, be a little broken. So let's close this project first. And now let's add the files. We choose the Excel project. Don't copy them because we already have them inside and create groups. And let's click Add. So now we have our Xcode project inside a workspace. As you can see, all of our targets are here, the same as we had before. As I said earlier, the best part is to have a separate frameworks inside our workspace. So let's add one, let's add a new framework. So file, new project. Our framework will still be a project, so we need to choose project, then framework. Next, let's name this models, include tests, tap next. And you can choose here, add to our workspace and the group. You need to choose workspace because by default, as you saw, this is a project. So we don't want to add our new framework inside another project. So let's add this to our workspace, create. And as you can see, we are back to our workspace and we have a new framework. Also, a new target has been automatically added here. We can choose it and let's build this command B. As you can see, our new empty framework has been built. Let's delete this one and let's create a sample model. Don't forget to mark it as public because when we will be using our framework inside our project, 
we need to expose it. Also, we need to create the initializer and mark it public. Now we need to add our models framework to our project. We need to do this here. So frameworks, libraries, and embedded content. This one, search for models, framework, and add. Now let's go to our app delegate and let's import our model. And as you can see, we can just create a new model. Let's switch to the project, let's build it. And yeah, build successful. And we are using our new model framework inside our project. After adding a workspace to your project, you have to remember that from now on, when you would like to open your project, you no longer use the text project file, but you need to open it through this new XE workspace file. Because if you will use as usual TXE text code project file, you will not see any other frameworks that you have added. It will not be visible for the project. So for example, the models that you have just added, those will not be visible. So in order to open your project, just open the XE workspace. It may look at first that it is unnecessary complication, but having separated frameworks, for example, in this case, having models, I will later add a networking layer and I will also use those models inside the networking layer. Then if I will add additional framework that needs to use models, I can just import this framework and I have those models in both places. And then if I will, for example, decide to replace networking layer or any other modules with a different module, different implementation, I don't have to like change this, don't have to move around the models. I can just like reuse them and switch this particular framework. You can also work on a specific framework in isolation. Uh, it is faster and you can, for example, run the tests only for this uh, particular framework. So right now, if I will tap command U, I will just start and building the tests only for the, for the models. The test that I have for my project will not be run in this case. So it is much, much faster. We can iterate much faster by just like working in one specific framework. And then just you can switch to the app, build the whole app and see how this uh, works and how this behaves. As you have just seen, setting up a new workspace is quite straightforward. When you break down a project into smaller frameworks, it can significantly improve your workflow, making it more efficient and faster. That's all what I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please consider subscribing for more videos like this. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.